Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. The first trailer for the Bob Dylan biopic A Complete Unknown has been released. Footage of Timothy Chalamet as the legendary folk artist has been revealed ahead of the film's release, which is slated for December later this year. The film, which was written by James Mangold and Jay Cox, first sees Dylan in his early years in New York right up until his 1965 Newport Folk Festival performance. Dylan memorably first performed using an electric guitar at the festival, where he sent shockwaves through the crowd after previously only using acoustic. The trailer opens with Edward Norton as Pete Seeger stood on stage, recalling the first time he saw and heard Dylan in action. Chalamet is seen walking through the streets of New York's Manhattan, passing some of Dylan's favored venues, including Café Wa and Hotel Chelsea. Chalamet, who revealed he will be doing his own singing, also performs a power rendition of the 1963 hit, A Hard Rain's A Gonna Fall. Dylan also becomes entangled in a love triangle with Joan Baez, Monica Barbaro, and Sylvie Rosso, L. Fanning, as a young man in the city. L. Sylvie is believed to be a fictionalized version of Susie Rotal, who dated Dylan at the time and appeared on the cover of the Freewheelin' Bob Dylan album. The film is based on Elijah Wald's book Dylan Goes Electric, 2015, which follows the story of his journey from acoustic to electric guitars. The title, A Complete Unknown, is recognizable from Dylan's rock anthem which changed his career, like a rolling stone. Mangold is a Hollywood veteran known for Girl Interrupted, 1998, Walk the Line, 2005, and most recently Ford vs. Ferrari, 2019. He has described the Dylan in his movie as a wanderer who comes in from Minnesota with a fresh name and a fresh outlook on life. His arrival ignites an upheaval in the folk community and what they thought was proper folk and illicit folk. The real-life Dylan, 83, serves as an executive producer of the film and gave notes on the script and took multiple meetings with Mangold. A source said, there's a lot of pressure to get it right. Bob Dylan fans are insane and will tear him, Timothy, apart if he gets it wrong. Raising the stakes even higher, Chalamet's performance in Wonka, a musical fantasy film reimagining the 1964 novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, was universally panned by critics. New York Magazine declared that he was the worst part of Wonka. Rolling Stone wrote that Chalamet bit off more than he could chew. That was a rare but stinging piece of criticism for a young man whose star has only risen nearly unimpeded for nearly a decade. He first rocketed to fame starring in the 2017 coming-of-age romantic drama, Call Me By Your Name. He became one of the youngest performers ever to receive an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. With Zero Machismo, a beanpole physique, pixie-like features and puppy dog eyes, he defies the conventional Hollywood hunk image embodied by actors such as Channing Tatum and Chris Hemsworth. 